Hello, everybody. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. Rain and thunderstorms approaching the area now where the strong ones are. Here's an update uh, for your ride home and your evening plans right now. Now, a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. All right, thanks to my fine sponsors at Robert Gibbons Sons. Here's what's happening as we cross into the uh, 3 o'clock time frame here in the valley. We have a low pressure system working its way through strong storms to the southern part of Fergus Falls and Ottertail County here, uh, heading in and northeast at this particular time. They're not severe at this time, but this it will be where the best chance of a few uh, severe storms in the early afternoon will be in our area. Otherwise, the greatest risk of storms will be shifting out to the east where we have not far from the apocalypse. Islands, a few strong thunderstorms. For Fargo, Moorhead, Grand Forks, Polk County, we're seeing some scattered rain showers that are not severe, and the Aberdeen area seeing a few showers and storms. So these drifting in an eastward fashion into Lakes Country, bringing wet rain right now. Fargo, a little bit of light rain on the way for us, but heavier down towards Hankinson and out towards Wilkin County and Traverse County right now. Uh, here's the strongest cell we have in the area right now. That's nearing the Alexandria area, moving to the north and east, and also pushing in towards Parker's Prairie. Again, not severe, but it could possibly become severe. And then off, off down to the south near Appleton, a strong cell uh, starting to show some signs of potential hail development there. So that's a look at what's going on right now with regards to these storms. Here's a quick review of the risks tonight as we go through the green area here. Fergus Falls Park Rapids in Hibbing is a level one on a five level scale of severe weather risk, meaning a couple of storms may flirt with severe criteria. One inch hail, gusts to about 60. So we'll keep our eyes on that. This yellow area here has all modes of severe weather possible with a few tornadoes in eastern portions of Minnesota. Not out of the question, uh, but hail and damaging wind will be the main threats. That includes Morris, includes parts of Grant County, southeastern Ottertail, in towards you folks out there in places like uh, Todd County, uh, Wadena County, and the Brainerd Lakes area, St. Cloud. That's a level two on a five level scale. Those hailstones could be significantly larger, up to around two inches in diameter, with gusts upwards of 65 to 70 miles per hour as we go through your evening. I'll keep you updated on your forecast update coming up soon, but now that was a look at the radar, and as you know, always, you can get the latest details, your forecast information by heading on over to hutchesweather.com. Follow on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, and stay informed for strong storms tonight across central and southern Minnesota, eastern South Dakota, and portions of Lakes Country.